Hello everybody and welcome back to Besiege where we toast bread, believe it or not. Yes, this is a toaster. God, it's fabulous. So yeah, today <laughs> that's not how bread works. So today we're going to be taking a look at a few weird and wacky machines. Yeah, let's get straight to it. This thing right here is a toaster and I thought I'd take a look at it because it's a freaking toaster. So come on and when you press Y... You toast up the bread all nice and dandy, and then when you press H, you flip them out. But <laughs> the bread doesn't look like that. This ain't. This is not bread. That's a powerful toaster right there. So you need to cook it just right. It's like real life. You need just just a tad, and then up you go, and they're done, and then they they fall to pieces. That's how real life works, I guess. Hey, there we go, and they fall out. This is very good, actually. I, I quite enjoy it. Next machine! Did you know that you could make sprinklers in Besiege? Well, apparently you can. They serve no purpose whatsoever. But, uh... <clears throat> you need to shut up. They serve no purpose whatsoever, but they're quite fun to look at, so... Here you go! Sprinkler! And you can even turn it off! How convenient. I wonder what these guys will think if I put on a sprinkler right next to their home. They don't like it that much. They're, they are running away in fear. <laughs> oh, and I, I destroy houses with it. The sprinkler doesn't work. It doesn't work. There's a fire here and it can't put out the fire. This right here is an arcade machine uh, with no... Oh, you can actually pick up a rock. I didn't know that. You steer it with arrow keys and then... Oh my god, it glitched. Okay, then you press 2 on the numpad, on the num keys, and you can get a rock. Oh, how delightful. But there's no, like, output place so you can't collect your rock but you can put it in another place which is you know nice who knew you could play games in besiege <laughs> yeah it's pretty funky this is a lazy something hold on this is called lazy tongs you need to have invincible mode on and zero g for this to work now it's a bit glitchy okay it's a bit glitchy because uh yeah it's a lot of moving parts once you press the left button or like the left button whatever you make it move and I'm tapping it just because if I press it at once it will snap and just glitch out I tried making one of these myself back in the day when I still made machines, but I didn't make it work So but this guy apparently made it work. And it's pretty good. Hold on. Let's make it glitch. Let's not make it. Oh, hello ship <laughs> I can contract it as well. I think let's do that. Let's not do that. Okay It's uh, it's a bit glitchy as you can tell. Hey, there we go. <laughs> This right here is nothing more than a simple blade explosion, but it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it looks pretty good. So, let's, wow, 1% is really slow, let's amp it up a bit. Oh, perhaps, perhaps if I didn't have 0G on, it would work. <laughs> Hold on, there we go, there we go, we're back, okay, 11%. Oh, that's too fast, holy shit, okay, let's do that one more time with uh, 2%, okay, 2%, here we go. Nice! Look at that! Complete and utter destruction. It even kills, uh, Benedict. Cucumber Benedict. <laughs> Cucumber Benedict. Oh, hilarity. Anyway, yeah, nothing more than a blade explosion, but it looks cool. This right here is a transmission. I, I don't know anything about engines, but apparently it- oh fuck, but apparently it works. So, we're gonna put on m Invincible and see if it actually- I know if you press 1 and 2, you can like- you can shift between, oh god, slow motion, there we go. You can shift between uh, the gears. So, but I don't really know where I should look for the speed output. But uh, that sheep is going to commit suicide anytime. Let's see, if I press forward, then it will spin that way. Okay, this is gear number one, right? When I press, okay, let's release everything. When I press two, it goes into that place. And uh, apparently we have more speed somewhere. I think it works. If, if you're an engineer and you're looking at this and you're like, mm, yeah, it works, then a good... F oh, God, it, it's gonna glitch. Then uh, good for you. But I don't really get it, but it's, apparently it works. And it's a fantastic design. I like it. It looks... I like gears. I like gears. I like when people make stuff with gears. And it has, it, it's, uh, it's still spinning. Now, this beastie is a loop majigger. And I'm actually gonna put on invincible mode because I tried this and it burnt up. <clears throat> because when you press certain buttons, uh, fire will appear. Which is good. Which is good. It's gonna it's gonna lag. I'm sorry, it's gonna lag. So let's put it down to like 20... 30%. Okay, let's try this now. <coughs> it's re it requires a bit of timing. And uh, as you all know, I'm great with timing. So let's do this. Okay. When you press L, the... 
it will open like this, just like that. Nice. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. Retake. We're actually gonna watch the car now, so that I can follow it in a straight line. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You guys prepared? Just like that. More speed. Fuck. Fuck. More speed. More speed. I'm gonna fail again. I'm gonna fail. I can't see where I'm going. Uh, oh fuck. Okie dokie. Uh, we're gonna do this one more time. I guess. <coughs> so we're gonna pa pan the camera a bit on the side so I can actually see where, it, where it's going. Okay, start it. No lag at all here. Okay, follow the car. Here we go. Open the gate of hell. Okay, and spin around. Please work. It doesn't work. It, it does You. I don't have enough speed. Like, at all. So, let's just do this then. Okay, I have an idea. Yes! And then we're gonna go straight through. And up into the air. Like, like this. Oh, fabulous. I don't have the speed at all. Wow. So the weirdest thing just happened. My game crashed. Like, <coughs> honestly, just crashed. It just went, I'm dead. I was going to show you this thing. Welcome to Paris, everybody. <coughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, an, uh, it's just an Eiffel Tower. But I think it looks it looks fantastic. It looks pretty good. Uh, there's like a flag up here, right? And there's uh, except this has you know it has a couple of bombs, like one there, one there. I don't think the real Eiffel Tower has a couple of bombs, strategically placed like that. But uh, let's see, yeah, uh, let's see what happens if we start the game like this. Okay, hold on, let it load for a while. <laughs> it's a it's a big thing. There we go. And when we press K, we'll. Yeah, there we go. It will demolish in a fashionable manner. That is awesome. And the last little thing is a Ferris wheel. I tried making a Ferris wheel myself, but I didn't make it work at all. I overcomplicated things and it just glitched out all the time. But this works. If I press up, it will go around. And around it goes. It goes pretty slowly, but I guess, you know... That's the way it, it, it should go. Of course, you can ramp it up if you want to. And uh, then this will happen. I bet it was, this will glitch anytime now. It will glitch anytime now. Boy, this would be fun. <laughs> In a, oh, there we go. There we go. People flying everywhere and uh, collapsing. Who would like to join the death wheel? Or the wheel of death? Wow, what amazing powers. Holy crap, it will glitch. It'll glitch anytime now. Uh, would you go on a ride like this? I wouldn't. Uh, I, I die. That was everything I had in store for you this time. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. See you later.